Hello, my name is Carmina. In June 2012, I was diagnosed with stage 3 breast cancer. My doctor said it was the rapid and aggressive type. This is a day I will always remember. I was in total shock. I felt someone had kicked me in the stomach. My thought at the time was cancer? No way, not me. Cancer is a killer disease. I said to my doctor, are you talking to the wrong person? I started to cry and I thought I was going to die soon. I hugged my son, Sean. I did not want to let him go. He needs me like I need him. My son, Sean, is a special needs child. No one will take care of him like I do. I cried all the way home and for days afterwards. So many things went through my mind. Do I sell my home, travel, and live until I get called by my God? I also felt that I had to say goodbye to my loved ones. I worked so hard throughout my life for my life to suddenly end. It was hard to get my priorities in order. What do I do? I felt I was in Wonderland. This was a new journey I was prepared to fight. I have Sean and I will not give up on this. I had no knowledge of chemotherapy or radiation. I am thankful for the great medical staff that showed me that they cared through their kindness and compassion. My main concern at the time was to do whatever was necessary to get my health back. I knew I had to follow my doctor's recommendations and take my medication as needed. I'd wake up after treatment and I was ready to go shopping, clean my house, check the mail, and go have a good time. I felt very confident knowing that the medication was going to kill the cancer cells. I had to live for myself and for Sean because he is my joy and my world. Living without Sean, my life would be empty. Every day is a blessing for me to wake up and see my family and my friends. It brings great joy to have support from my loved ones, even if they live out of state. I appreciate all the phone calls and gift cards, but mostly I appreciate their heartfelt support through their prayers and words of encouragement, telling me to stand up to this disease, fight it, and more so not to give up. I realized after six months of chemo and seven and a half weeks of radiation that my life will never be the same. I made it through treatment and I continue going through this journey of survivorship. Cancer can take a dramatic toll on your life, but the control is in your hands and you can fight it. You go through so many emotions, but my will was to live. I am going to reach out to others who are fighting the same battle by offering them my comfort and support. I plan to volunteer my time to help others that need a friend who understands. Cancer is a disease you don't wish upon anyone. Life is a constant battle. Although I have this disease, I am living proof that it can be treated and controlled. I believe I have many greener pastures to see. I am determined to grow and blossom through my faith, courage, hope, and love. I will live this journey called life for as long as God allows. I am me, Carmina.